Oh, holy cannoli! I've got a great surprise for you today. What are we making today? We are making the best, most wonderful fruit salad. Fruit salad? Yes, remember we bought all the components when we went on our vlog to the grocery store? I do remember. So we are going to be faking a fruit salad then. Faking. No, not faking. Enhancing. Always enhancing. I told you this is not the season for fresh fruit right now. Okay, well, I so. guess we're all gonna find out how to enhance yes. a fruit salad today. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be wonderful because guess what we're doing? What? We're going to top it all off with a homemade whipped cream. But you know, you know, whipped cream like this is just so much easier. What is that doing in my kitchen? You don't want to just use this? Uh, no. But can your whipped cream do this? Oh! Can it make a mess like that? Yes! Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Come on, let's bring it on! Let's bring it on! You Look are, at this! Look are, at this! You're making a mess! What? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I bet you if, try it. I bet if you look on that can right now, you will see that water is probably like one of the first two ingredients. How much you want to bet? Come on. Um, um, oh, ingredients. Cream. Oh, okay. So what's the second one? Water. All right. There you go. So really Sugar. Water down. Corn syrup. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, doesn't that sound lovely? Mm, Isn't well, that something you want to put in your fruit salad? It tasted real good. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> it's all over your face. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tara. And I'm Susan. And, and welcome, welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. Okay, I'm done cleaning. You know, I'm gonna have to get a restock in Clorox wipes. Just for me? Uh, for me, believe me. Where'd my, where'd my whipped cream go? Yeah, well, where do you think it went? Where it belongs. Where, what did you do with it? Right down the drain. <gasps> yep, you wanna see the empty can? <gasps> and believe me, it didn't take that long. How could that you? A, that was a big can of air. This is a cooking show and I'm going to show you how to make the best whipped cream you've ever had. You won't ever want to go and buy a can of that again. Ever. The cruelty. No. The cruelty. No. Just think of, just think of it as, you know, I'm saving you somehow. Oh. Yeah. That was your gift to me. That was your gift. Well, let's get to enhancing this fruit salad. Okay. okay, now this is a simple, simple recipe. So it's, it's not going to be that challenging. Okay, but this is gonna be a great side dish for your Thanksgiving dinner. Okay. Yes. So what do so, we do? Okay, so I'm giving you the easy task here. Okay. 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 All right. Bananas, yay. 
And oh. look, all you need to do is slice up two bananas. And once you're done slicing, you just put them in this bowl. Okay? Oh, okay. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to go ahead and peel the apple. Okay, since you probably would take you a while to figure out how to do that. Okay. So I think you can peel the banana, right? And look, they're nice and fresh. This is a banana you can eat. It is. A lot better than a rotten banana. No, no, no. Not going to go there. They were not rotten. They were just overripe. And they made, did they not make wonderful banana bread? It did turn out. Okay, really good. there you go. <laughs> Funny how that banana bread just kind of, you know. How come this doesn't come off? Whoa. I thought we got done making it this. Wouldn't, Look what it you wouldn't did break. This banana. There we what? go. You and food just don't get along, do you? It just, it wouldn't come Somehow, off. Somehow, I think I ended up with banana somewhere. I don't know where it ended either, either up. Either that or whipped cream. Yeah, well, I'll be finding whipped cream in all the wrong places tonight, I'm sure. <laughs> That's TMI for me. Okay. No, oh, we got a roller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's trying to escape you. <laughs> run, banana, run. Run, banana. For your life. <laughs> So dramatic. I just so don't know they, where you they get the don't drama. Come off. <laughs> if that banana ends up on the floor, I swear. It's, it's fine. Look, we're still good. We're still in business. And time. <laughs> time. Did I? Okay, but just let, I me, win. just let me ask you this. I win. Let's look at your area compared to my area. And who's the winner here? I am. Okay. I think I should get an award for that. <laughs> okay, I'll give you an award. Okay. I'll let you back in my kitchen. How's that? <laughs> I'm already in your kitchen. I, I mean, I'll let you come back a sec another time. <laughs> you were gonna kick me out? I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm getting there. Oh, you know you have fun. <laughs> Cooking is not the same without me. Wow, <laughs> that is the truth. And I want to see how much that you've learned through all this. Okay, well, I hope you set the bar pretty low. I would say the bottom is pretty low. That's where we started here, okay? What do I do with this? Well, it's called garbage. But here, I'll, I'll take it from you since, you know, maybe you, you don't did, know you what that is. You didn't give me a garbage over here. Because it doesn't matter. If I give you a garbage, your garbage ends up on the floor anyway. <laughs> You've got someone that looks like they uh, blew their nose on the... <laughs> I, I need a Clorox wipe. All right, now we're down to the easy part. The easy part? That, that was the hardest part of this fruit salad. Isn't that awesome? Okay. Okay. All right, here you go. What is this? This is our fruit. This is, this is our fruit that came from a can. Okay, it's all right. I already drained it. Okay. And then in go the bananas. There you go. Oh, okay. I should have known not to put anything too close to you. And in go the apples. Okay. All right. In go our cranberries. And in go the raisins. All right. Look how good that yeah. looks. Oh my God. Our, our sweet and plump golden raisins. Yes, yes, the golden ones. Yes. So we're ready for the whipped cream? Um, I hope so. Okay. And you know what? We're going to use the mixer. So you don't even have to, you know, whisk it yourself. Isn't that awesome? Wow. Yeah. Okay. What's going on? You're taking it easy on me. Oh, oh, okay. You want to do it yourself? No. Okay, because you know what? Believe this or not, but um, my grandma, she used to do it with the hand whisker, with the little How long does wheel. that take? A long time, but she did it. She never, oh my gosh. If I ever brought in a can of that whipped cream into my grandmother's kitchen, oh my word. Okay. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to pour in a quart of heavy whipping cream. Okay, there you go. I even got you a little spatula to help you just get that last little drop out. Oh, wow. No, I said spatula. That's a spoon. Oh, wow. Make sure they're in there. Every drop. Every drop. That's right. No waste in this kitchen. Then we want to put, oh. Okay, thank you very much. Wow. Okay, we're going to put one tablespoon of sugar. This one. Does that say one tablespoon? This one. There you go. Well, you can. You know what? You can put it heaping. You can. A heaping? Yep, a heaping. Like that? Yeah. It's hard to do a heaping thing of sugar, but oh, there like you that? go. Yes. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Put it right in. It's kind of hard to get it in. I think you better put a little bit more. Like that? That, like that. And just put it closer to the bowl, and there you go. See? Wow, you could have done that the first time and got it all in. Okay, and now we need one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. We do not pour it over the bowl, just in case. Gee, you spill a little. What I want you to do is make sure that the mixer, you know, bowl is up. So go ahead and crank it up with the handle. Okay. The other way. There you go. Okay. And we're going to start it on around two or three. Okay. How do you start it? Right there. On oh. the side. So put it on about three. There you go. And as soon as everything gets incorporated, we're going to go ahead and turn it all the way up to like eight or nine. How do you know if it's incorporated? Just look at the bowl. I couldn't see it. It's all white stuff. Okay. It's incorporated. So okay. now we're going to turn it up to about eight or nine, and we're going to let that whip for about five to six minutes. Okay, our whipped cream is done. And one little note on the whipped cream, don't over whip it. If you over whip it, everything will just start to fall apart. So just keep your eye on it the very last couple minutes to make sure that, you know, it's nice and fluffy, ready to go. So go ahead and uh, there you go. Put the bowl down. Like that? Like that. That's how you know. That's, look at that whipped cream. Yes. Now tell me, isn't that awesome? That is good. Mmm. Oh my gosh. And you can put more sugar. If you like a more sweet taste, then you can put more sugar. Mm-hmm. That's Very good. I didn't really think you needed more sugar. We're going to fold the whipped cream. Because again, if you whip the the whipped cream too much it's just going to separate and it's going to be a big puddle so folding is literally taking your spatula and you're just turning it like this so you're not really touching the whipped cream well, then how are you going to mix in all the fruit you it, it ends up mixing it all in okay okay go ahead now fold away just kind of scoop under go from the front of the bowl to the back of the bowl there you that you're folding. Look, guys. You're folding. I'm folding. Yes, you're folding. Well, you're, I'm folding you, out of the bowl. You're folding a little bit out of the bowl here. And then you can save the rest of it for your pumpkin pie. Oh. Yeah. Need more than this for your pumpkin pie. I don't know. There's a lot of whipped cream there. I don't think you've seen how I do pumpkin pie. Oh, okay. Just a little pumpkin pie. A and a lot, lot of whipped cream. cream. And gee, let me think. I bet it's out of a can. Now we have a really great surprise. I'm so excited about this. It might make me, look, might make me tear up a little bit. So my mother, I got to tell you, my mom, it didn't matter whether it was a Sunday dinner, a holiday. Uh, she used her good dishes for everything. She didn't think you had to leave your dishes in your china cabinet just for only for, you know, holiday use. She used to bring it out all the time for everybody to see. Mm. And so when she passed away, of course, I, you know, got most of her dishes. Aww. So I have a bowl that we're going to use today that I'm doing Aww. it in honor of her because this was her favorite bowl to use for fruit salad. 
And it's so pretty and it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. That beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna load this bowl up. Look how beautiful this is. This looks awesome. So my mom always prided herself in the fact that not only did she make a great dish, but it always looked so beautiful. So, and she used to take some fruit and just decorate the top of it. So, and there we go. And then you just take your mandarin oranges and you just put little flower petals around it. Oh, so cute. Yeah. Look at how beautiful this is. Not bad for a can of fruit, huh? And here you go. This is a great side for your Thanksgiving meal. And don't forget, we've got more great recipes coming up in our Thanksgiving series. Yes, we do. I'm looking forward to eating it all. And if you want to be a part of our Thanksgiving, don't forget, hit the subscribe button. And hit that like and ring that bell. And just remember, it's always better when you do it together. together. See you on the next Bye. one. Bye. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Yeah. All right. Oh, that does look good. Woo.